Captain, we can now disable the Helios device. Sir, I don't know what you're doing over there, but I just got a solid transporter lock on the two of you. Two? We need you to beam tomorrow. Come on, Spock. Well. Go, go way the fuck over here. It's that damn contraption they've got her wired to. Captain, it appears that the energy shield around Tamar is connected to the Gorn leader. So we gotta take him out to get to Tamar. It appears so. Fine by me. Awesome if this game had like a HUD. Fuck. Why does Spock have to suck so bad? Captain. Sir, I don't know what you're it's doing over broken there, fucking AI, AI man. Two? We need you to beam tomorrow out as well. Come on. Come on, I wanna skip this fucking cutscene. Captain. It appears that the energy Go over here, Spock. Is connected to the Gorn leader. So we gotta take him out to get to Tamar. It appears so. Fine by me. Where is he? Ah, oh. 
So close. Where is he? Gonna blow any moment, sir. Heard you. Get out of time. I need to beat you. Captain, you get to Mar. I will take care of their leader. Are you sure? Wow. Yes. As I believe you would say, I have a score to set. Then get to it. I thought that guy had like a quarter energy left. Get ready to beam us out on my mark. Alright, saving the girl. Saving the girl. Tell me Spock made it too. Well done, Captain. Oh yeah. <laughs> Looks like they're both getting some booze tonight. Captain, looks like there's a whole other fleet of bad guys coming right through that second. Oh round. boy, don't they ever give up? Status of our engines. They're barely holding on, but they should be able to get us out of here. Good work, Mr. Scott. Sulu, full impulse, get us through that rip. That's it? Wow, that was kind of uh, an abrupt ending. Um, but I guess, uh, yeah, kind of fitting for <laughs> this game, I guess, which was very unbalanced. Uh, it had some good positives. Let me start with that. Um, I think the biggest positive is what you're hearing right now, the music excellent soundtrack that they took directly from the movie um also the voice acting was really great as well um and that's because obviously they used the same actors from the from the movie from the reboot so they did a really good job so you have you know a top-notch crew uh acting crew to do the voiceover so those were good i thought the graphics were okay um, in a lot of parts pretty good actually but the facial animations were pretty bad and the lips and stuff were pretty off kilter with what you know was being said um, but there, this game was plagued with problems mainly the controls uh, the controls were just bad 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 um Oftentimes you're trying to get get it to climb a ladder or to even this speaks to the AI too uh, to have Spock come towards you in a certain place or Spock would just take off and wouldn't be found in a lot of battles like you would move up ahead in a level in a board and Spock was tailing behind you nowhere to be found and it was highly highly frustrating and then all of a sudden when you get to a door he just appears out of nowhere and he's just there so that was very very frustrating also many times enemies would disappear in the middle of a battle so I, I, I can remember at least three or four times you'd be in a firefight and the enemy would just disappear or an enemy would get, you know, stuck in a place. Oh. Captain's log supplement. Oh, here we go. The Federation is safe from the Gorn. For now. I'm starting to wonder if there's anything Spock and I can't do when we work together. It seems that the older Spock was right. Our partnership, our friendship, really is something special. Oh. Our mission would not have succeeded if not for the exemplary performance of my crew. They are all truly deserving of commendations for this one. I have recommended to both Starfleet and the Vulcan High Council that Tamar be awarded honors for bravery. I am happy to report that she will be allowed to continue her work 
in the rebuilding of New Vulcan. I know that she still blames herself for what happened, but hopefully, one day, she will realize that it was Commodore Daniels who deserves the blame for the Gorn invasion. We've just been given new orders by Admiral Pike to travel to the planet Nibiru to help in some sort of humanitarian mission. Hopefully, this mission will include way less Gorn than the last one. Her, her, her. Kirk Audi 5000. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's all I can say was that there were a lot of, uh, you know, unforgiving mistakes in the game, in the game mechanics. Lots of times enemies would get stuck in places. Oftentimes in key boss battles, uh, you'd have an enemy that would just get, like, stuck. And then you were able to uh, fire upon that enemy with ease and, and conquer the boss battle. That happened at least a few times. So just kind of inexcusable stuff in that regard. But I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll piece together some footage and do a review. But anyway, it's been Philly Cuts. And if anybody out there is watching... Thanks for watching the playthrough. I'm glad you got to see my new Elgato capture card in action along with my blue Yeti microphone. Uh, yeah, so expect more to come. And I hope to keep putting out, you know, quality uh, playthroughs. Sorry I raged quite a bit in this one, but yeah. It's also a little bit of an act too, but... Don't tell anybody. All right.